Robert A. Bob Hoover is considered by many to be the pilot's pilot. Self-taught in aerobatics, Hoover began his career as a test pilot and combat veteran during World War II. Following 58 successful missions, he was shot down off the coast of southern France and spent 16 months in a German prison camp. After the war, Bob returned to test flying, evaluating aircraft for both the military and the private sector. He was the first man to fly the XFJ-2 Fury Jet and the Navy's T-28 trainer. He served as a backup and chase pilot to Chuck Yeager on the X-1 flights. And Bob has set several world aviation records, including cross-country and climb-to-altitude records. Among numerous other honors, he's received the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Soldier's Medal, Air Medal, and the Purple Heart. Bob has flown more than 300 types of aircraft, but is perhaps best known for his yellow P-51D and his famous Shrike Commander. Bob Hoover's ceaseless dedication to perfection, combined with unwavering determination, places him in a class by himself. Whether it be overcoming air sickness during his first flying lessons, or calmly handling an emergency landing in a crippled F-86A, Bob has, through hard work, become an excellent example for all pilots. He's been rightly called the most notable, decorated, and respected living pilot in the world. His experience and knowledge are highly valued throughout the aviation community. So if you practice daily, precisely, keep it on the numbers. Don't add five knots for the wife and five knots for each of the kids. Put it on the numbers and, and then touch down on the numbers on that runway. And if you do that on a daily basis, and this applies to all of you who fly, work hard at being professional. Know what you can do with that airplane. And then when you get caught short, you'll be successful in saving the airplane.